So the pomp and circumstance of the 2022 Olympics cannot cover up what they really are, the genocide games. And the world's silence and even acceptance of what is going on in China this week, for the next two weeks, I guess, is shameful, at least. Uh, yes, yes, and we're calling this the genocide games, as athletes from around the world take to the ice and slopes. More than one million Muslim Uyghurs are being held in concentration camps right now. They face brainwashing from China, forced physical labor, sexual abuse, and even death. If you are a Uyghur woman, your plight is even worse. And yet America and the rest of the world bows to China by sending athletes there. The International Olympic Committee follows the lead of the World Health Organization, I guess. Just as it comes to the origins of the China virus, the human rights atrocities are ignored in China as well. And today, as the world watched the opening ceremonies play out, the factories in Beijing are all shut down to limit smog and pollution. The city has been cleaned up to create a false image that that nation, China, is somehow free, welcoming, and tolerant. It is not. This happened to a Dutch journalist in the middle of a live shot earlier today. This sums up all you need to know about China. A reporter being manhandled, you see there, by a man in a, with a red band on his arm. That right there, folks, is the Communist Party exposed. He gets taken away. Came back to do his live shot, but that's bad news. Of course, China will deny everything, including the existence of the Uyghur concentration camps. But you know who else denied the existence of concentration camps? Adolf Hitler did when Germany hosted the Olympics back in 1932. Those games also served as cover for an evil, violent regime, just like the genocide games in China do today. China is our enemy, and we are literally sending our athletes behind enemy lines. Listen to Nancy Pelosi today. I would say to our athletes, you're there to compete. Do not risk incurring the anger of the Chinese government because they are ruthless. Well, it's good advice, but the arrogance of Speaker Pelosi is stunning. This is a woman who has literally, her family, made millions off investments in China. And she is disguising her advice to athletes to remain silent as some kind of concern? I don't believe her. Sadly, my belief is she is simply running cover for China, advising athletes to remain silent so no negative publicity is leveled against her Chinese business partner known as the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. I know there is a temptation on the part of some to speak out while they are there. I respect that, but I also worry about what the Chinese government might do. Oh, I'm sure she also worries about what it'll mean for her investments over there. And by the way, if it's so dangerous and not worth it to speak out against these atrocities, then doesn't our silence, doesn't it make us all complicit in this? All of us worldwide complicit in the tolerating of this genocide by allowing China to host the Olympics and sending athletes to compete there. We're all complicit. Look at what the Beijing regime did to Belgian skeleton star Kim Milmans. After repeated negative tests for the virus, she is being held in isolation because of what appears to be one false positive when she arrived. I ask you all to give me some time to consider my next steps because I'm not sure if I can handle 14 more days at the Olympic competition while being in this isolation. Well, first she was taken away from the Olympic Village put in isolation all by herself. Now she's been moved back into the Olympic Village, but still in isolation, has to train by herself. The Chinese Communist Party is literally torturing that athlete by isolating her when there is no need to do so. Again, she already has at least three negative tests. The bottom line is this. Every dollar spent in China lines the pockets of a nation that will use that money against us to steal our technology, 
to build hypersonic missile systems, and yes, even weaponize viruses. And sadly, it will also fund a regime that sees nothing wrong about enslaving its own people. Grant Stinchfield is on Newsmax every night fighting for the America First agenda.